Welcome back to a brand new PTCG live video. Today I'll be showcasing the new Luxray EX from the newly released set Twilight Masquerade. So that being said, let's get into the deck list. Let's see which cards we'll be running. So we do run three copies of Luxray EX for that first attack, Piercing Gaze. If we attach the double turbo, we get to do 100 damage, plus your opponent does reveal their hand and we can discard a card from their hand. So we do get some pretty interesting hand control with Luxray. It can definitely help us win some games. We also do run the one copy of the Raikou V. It definitely does set up really quickly and we can even start attacking with it on our first turn going second with the Lightning Rondo. We do max out at 220 damage if both benches are full. We also do have the ability Fleet Footed where if this isn't active, we also do get to draw a card. We also do run the two copies of Maridon EX or that tandem unit. We can search out for two basic lightning Pokemon and put them onto our bench. And lastly, we also have the Rotom V just for some draw support with the instant charge. We get to draw three cards and then our turn ends. Moving on to the trainer cards, we do run Prime Catcher as our Ace Spec trainer card. It's basically a double switch out where we can gust up one of your opponent's Pokemon and then we get to switch out our own. Moving on to the supporter cards, we do run four copies of Arvin, a very good supporter card for a stage two deck. We can search out for an item card and a tool card with Arvin. We have the standard two copies of Boss's Orders, the three copies of Iona for draw support and disruption, the two copies of Professor's Research for draw support, and moving on to the tool cards, we do have the one copy of the Bravery Charm where we can get an extra 50 HP on one of our basic Pokemon. We have the Far Seal Stone as our V-Star power. We can search out for any card in our deck and put it into our hand. And lastly, we have the one copy of Rescue Board. Moving on to the energies, we have the three copies of the Double Turbo energies for our Luxray. And lastly, just the 14 copies of Basic Lightning Energy. So those are all of the cards in this deck that I want to talk about. And let us see how it'll do in the matches. Can we get a mulligan here? Yeah, I just can't believe we got a mulligan. Yeah, I'm just gonna open up with Raikou. They got Monkey Dory. This could be Gardevoir. Which in that case, you definitely want to maybe start up a Iron Hands. They got Nespo for Greninja. Artisan, so yeah, I definitely feel like this could be Gardevoir still. No, it's actually gonna be Roaring Moon. A Earthen Vessel. And they do have the Roaring Moon EX as well. Sealed cards. Tracking shoes, okay. And they are running Dunsparce as draw support. Nice, we get the Maridon. Let's Artisan for the Shanks. Good. Hmm. Yeah, let's get the iron hands. Choose the fleet footed Ultra Ball. Hmm.
Yeah, we'll just go for the instant charge. Okay, they got Sada, so they're gonna get two energies on discard. And then they draw three. You know, it looks like they are running Frostlass from Twilight. They concealed cards. Yeah, and they're retreating out into Roaring Moon. And they only do 90 because they got only, what, two ancient cards in the discard. for the Arvin get switch mm, or maybe prime catcher or seal stone only one energy off of that mm. Yeah, we'll just go for the for the knockout. Oh yeah, rescue board. Mm. Let's see. They go into Dun Sparse. Something tells me they probably have the evolution to Dun Sparse, saying it's just their pivot. Artisan. They get the another Roaring Moon. Poke Gear. Wow, they don't find anything on Poke Gear. Even with only 28 cards only. Play Ultra Ball. They probably should have played Ultra Ball first before Poke Gear. They get the Dun Sparse. So they get their draw. They're gonna draw the three cards. Ooh, and here are the dark patches. They're probably going on the EX. Yeah, they're going on the EX. There's the Dunspurs. They draw the three cards. They're up to six now. What did they go into? I'm pretty sure they're going to go into the, yeah, the Roaring Moon EX. There's the Sada.
So, honestly, I feel like the only play to make here is to try, try, try to get a generator for the Shinx to do the 250, and then we'd have to find a way to vacuum off Capsule. Let's go into Morida and put the rescue board on it. Yeah, let's Arvin. Yeah, we only get one energy here. Let's search out the double turbo. And yeah, let's knock out the dunce bars. Ball for the Luxray. Get another Shanks down. See, there's a generator in the boss. I go back into Roaring Moon. So they're probably going to use the Frenzy Gouging here. I put down Artisan. Maybe not. If they put down Artisan, maybe they just go for the Calamity Storm again. They're going for Super Run. They put some Moons back into their deck. Maybe they're going for... Yeah, they go for Calamity Storm. Which I'm kind of surprised. Pretty surprised, really. Nice, we draw the rare candy for Luxray. Nice, two energies for the generator. Let's put them on Marindon. And I'm gonna, hmm. You know, I'm thinking just bossing up the Monkey Dory here. Yeah, I'm gonna boss up the monkey Dory, knock it out. We well, get yeah, Lux Rain Shinx. Mm. We're going to Roaring Moon. Yeah, they just go for the Calamity Storm.
Yeah, we already used our prime catcher. Let's go for our iron them. Boss. Oh. So let's go for the 220. Yeah, it feels like this is just going to go into sudden death because I'll use Frenzy Gouging. I go for Concealed Cards. Another Roaring Moon. And I get Sada. Maybe they'll set up another Roaring Moon. I feel like they have to knock out this Maridon. They wouldn't risk not knocking this out. Interesting, they go for the Prime Catcher for Rodom. Do they knock us out? 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 150. I don't think they do. They still go for the frenzied gouging. So this is going to go into sudden death. Rare candy. Yeah, this is going to sudden death here. Let's go for Tails. Nice, we win it. Let's go second. Can win pretty easily just by setting up Raikou. Let's see. Nice, we get the Raikou V. And they just instantly win because they got Ursaluna here. They don't even need to do anything. They just win right now. That is so bad. I don't even know why they're drawing cards. Like, I really don't get it why they're drawing cards. They even put down the Gape Jog Bog. They attach one energy, which they pass. Maybe I'm missing something. They're supposed to be able to use that Blood Moon attack right away. Let's pass. They bench Dunsparce. I don't get it. They should be able to use the seasoned skill ability and attack us. They pass again. A 
That's Ultra Ball from a Rhydon. Tandem unit for Shanks and Iron Thorns. Say one twenty. Maybe it's not counting the five prizes because this is sudden death. I'm assuming that has to be the reason. Adventure Roaring Moon. And they just can see. Nice, they're going first. I'm gonna put Marine on in front. That's because we can put the rescue board on to do an easy switch. They have Chi Yu, so this could be Snorlax stall. Possibly. They just pass without anything. Let's go for the tandem unit and get. Get Shanks and Rotom. Let's use Iona. Hmm, not a single generator. We'll just go for instant charge. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't draw a single generator. Let's see, they got Pidgey. Misfortune Sisters. So this looks like a... Wow, that's a lot of item cards. Yeah, we lose the generator to the, to the Misfortune Sisters and then Jealousy thing. Let's get Generator. Or Seal Stone. Nice, we get two energies. Knock out this Chi Yu. Okay, nice ball and research. So this looks like a definitely a control kind of deck. Roseanne's backup. And what were they able to get? They got the Chi Yu and the Fire Energy. The Ultra Ball. They get Rotom V. I guess I'll go into Raikou. Okay, we do 140. Let's use the Fleet Footed. Switch card. Yeah, let's just go for the damage. Arvin, that's useful actually. Then we can find a generator. They palpen. Oh wow, they just go for instant charge. Yeah, we can just switch Cardon into Maridon and then we just knock them out. 
And just lose for no bench. Let's see, Ultra Ball and Lightning Energy. Oh, nice. They're going first. That's pretty ideal for us. Let's see. Nice. We even got Generator to work with here. They get a Mulligan. Looks like it's going to be Shin Pao. card a shinx so it looks like they do run the iron hands hey buddy puffin probably gonna get frigid backs so they didn't get the most ideal start honestly it's pretty bad to draw into iron hands in your starting hand with shin pao especially since shin pao doesn't have many switching options Let's see if they have the Greninja. No, they don't. They just pass. Switch card. Let's go for the Tandem unit. Get Raikou and Rotom, or Rotom. Yeah, let's try the Generator. Wow, we get nothing. I'm gonna attach a double turbo. And there's Shinx down. Let's just go for the instant charge. They do get ear to... I wonder what they get. I want to say Rare Candy Bax Calibur. Bax Calibur and Nest Ball. So... They're probably going to get the Chin Pad and Nest Ball and then switch out, I'm thinking. Hey, Nest Ball... They get Greninja, okay. There you go for the concealed cards. They poke a stop. Two items, two out of three is not too bad. They heavy ball. They find Shin Pao from their prize stack. All they need is a switch or a prime catcher. They pass. No supporter card. Hmm. Thinking of just switch carding into Iron Thorns here. Because we're not really having much luck on the rare candy or a supporter card to get Lux right down. Wow, they have another Irida. Whereas we don't have any useful supporter cards other than boss.
I'm assuming they're gonna get the prime catcher here. Not only get Earth and Vessel and Shin Pao. Earth and Vessel for two energies. Or they just might get the lightning energy. Never mind. I thought they'd get maybe the lightning energy and charge up Iron Hands. A Pokestop. Only one item this time and it's not useful. Superior energy retrieval for two energies. They let go super rod. Wow. They get the two energies. Or maybe they already have the lightning energy. They discarded two Beebrels as well. Okay, they retreat out for the four energy into Shin Pao. They use a superior energy retrieval again. It's interesting. And they do knock us out, unfortunately. Let's go into Raikou. Wow, this is so bad. He's a fleet footed. Bravery charm. Here, let's boss up back. Mm, actually, let's boss up the Iron Hands again. Or not again, but back into the active. Yeah, let's just go for instant charge here. Prime Catcher. I guess that's okay. Maybe we can get the Bax Caliber KO'd. They go for concealed cards. And they played their Prime Catcher. So I'm assuming they're probably going to get the Shinx with the double turbo. Now they go for the Rotom. They go into Shin Pao. Let's see, they have five energies in this card. Maybe they only find one? No, they get two. <laughs> so they need four energies to knock us out. Superior energy retrieval again. I don't know how they've done it. How they've done that. They got just all their energy retrievals so quickly. Six energies. I'm going to Maridon. Let's use the Prime Catcher. Let's gust up Bax's Caliber. Going to Raikou. Let's use the Fleet Footed. Generator. I'm going to use the Iron Gnome. Put them down to two cards. Yeah, let's Ultra Ball.
Yeah, no, I'm just gonna read those two. Yeah, at least one Lux right down. So you want to get Generator. I'm assuming they're going to go into Shin Pao. Yep, yeah, they do. And they do use the Cypher Maniac Code Breaking. So something tells them you're going to put two item cards on top so that they can use Poker Stop. Or if they have the energy, they can use Greninja. So I doubt they have the energy card because they already, yeah, they go for Pokestop. Nice, they do lose the Silene. They super run, I'm assuming they're gonna get three energies back. Yeah, they get two energies and Bax Caliber. I go for the Shivery Chill. Doesn't look like they're gonna get Max Caliber down this turn. They go for concealed cards. They're up to six. Especially they used three superior energy retrievals and they lost the Silene. Oh, they have Ultra Ball. So all they need is a rare candy. And I think they only used one so far. Three Ear doesn't in discard. One Silene. They get Max Caliber down. And they have the rare candy. And attach a third energy. Okay. At least they don't knock us out. 180. I'm gonna put the two energies on Maridon. Use the Fleet Footed, Arvin. Yeah, I guess let's get the Switch card. And Forest Seal Stone. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the 220. Shanks and Arvin. They poke a stop, two nest ball, which is not too bad. Two out of three. I get Shin Pao. They Buddy Puffin or Frigid Bax. Oh wow, and they go for the Ion though. Which they still only get two cards. Let's see. Yeah, they just pass. Let me just check the pain the unit. Yeah, there's nothing really worth getting. Mm. 
I'm gonna go for research. Yeah, it's hoping to get maybe a generator, but we'll just go into Raikou. Use the fleet footed. What we get? Mess ball. We go into Shin Pao. Which, how many energies they got in this card? Six, seven. I believe, I believe that's all their energies in this deck. Seven energies. They find one. So they can do 60. I don't think they can knock us out. They would have to super run three energies back. Oh wow, they go for the vacuum. There goes Bravery Charm. They still need two water energies just to attack. They got a lightning. That's not going to do anything. They attach the water. I'm assuming Retreat out. No, they just pass. And that's pretty much game. We can just retreat and then boss up the Frigibax. And go for the Ampu very much. Nice. Last two. Yeah, it is conceded. Well, those are all the matches. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.